What's going on, YouTube? I'm the White Guy. This is Mario Max or Jose TV Reflex. 30 seconds. Oh, yes. Best 30 per the best per any race of the first 30 seconds. Um, This track is uh, Mojave Desert National, I believe, by... I feel really bad because I remember the guy was asking me stuff about the track and I forgot his name. Um, yeah, I feel really bad now because I was, I I was actually talking to the guy about this track, about what to change and whatnot, and I forgot his name. So, by somebody... Sorry about that, but on um, this track, it's uh, this is one of those tracks I can kind of just put laps on it for a long time and not really get bored with it. Uh, I don't know why. There's some tracks like I can only do a couple laps of them, and I'm like, yeah, screw this track sucks. Or it's, it'll be like a really good track, but, like I can do three laps of it and then I'm just bored of it and have to stop. Whereas this, I can kind of just stay here all day long and have fun. Watch that single. And um, this track, it just, it's got a good feel for me at least. Cause I usually don't really care about tracks aesthetics, but it's like it's a good setting. It's kind of like out there in nowhere. Around the background's kind of green and pixelated and whatnot, but that's not really important. But like, yeah, it's really like if you put stuff around the track, and I said don't use tough blocks. Like on a track like this, I feel like if you put tough blocks there, they kind of ruin the feel of it because the track's got the kind of like the desolate out there in the desert slash backyard track type feel to it, not like a professional moto track feel. There's tough blocks everywhere, so. I figured it'd be better. I thought it'd be better off like have cones around the track and everything. I told him that, and he actually did that. And personally, I, at least I think it looks a lot better. Just like cones, it, like those little traffic cones and tires, and maybe those you know posts every once in a while to mark the tracks outside, rather than having tough blocks. I feel like tough blocks would kind of kill the desolate desert wasteland. Not really desert, desolate desert out just out there feeling like there's. I don't know, I feel like the mood of the track would be killed if you put a bunch of sponsorships. If you put anything related to like sponsorships and everything on this track, I feel like it just you lose the feeling of being in like an... I would say backwoods, but it's not really out in the woods, more like a back desert style track. It also, it took me a while to realize that you actually have to turn and twist that signs there, because I didn't know where to go after that uh, for landing right there. I did not know where you were supposed to go, because it turns a bit confusing, but you'll get used to that. No, I just, I just have fun with this track. It's a good track, nice little triple, triple right here, cut to the inside. Berms do a pretty good job of grabbing you. You don't want to let off the gas like I did. And if you hit that chest right, you can double out of there, and that's probably the fastest way to do that. It's not gonna lie, it's probably pretty fast. You want to double, double here. Just throw the mad whip glitches. I don't know if you want to try and cut inside it or on that or not, but you want to go out far enough to where you can actually land that jump and not case it life like I did. It, I guess if you can somehow wheelie into that one, that's a little better off so you don't go flying as far. And it's got to get between the lines here. Let's go for the inside, and we just completely ruined that burn. Nice. And we can make it. Step on. Step on. Step off, please. And throw a backflip out. Why not? We gotta get a backflip in somewhere, probably. So we'll throw it right there. And let's throw a 360. Ooh, almost crashed, and we're gonna case that. Nice. Case life. Let's go for the inside. This inside's a bit weird, because kind of like you gotta hook back around to get in there. It's just, uh, the line's just a weird one to try and grab. Triple. Not quite. Dang it. Probably not gonna double that. Yeah, that's kind of saw that come. It's, it's a bit of a hard track to be able to get all the jumps done right now. That's why I have fun with it. Just going to perfect everything about this track. It makes it fun. Watch that burn, which I kind of dug there. I guess that, that actually will be an interesting corner right there, because as the, I guess as laps continue, let's see how that pl plays out. Maybe I'll cut back in a bit later after I've done more laps. Because especially if you get people racing with all those ruts that are going to be forming on that corner, that one corner after the finish line is going to get very treacherous, and that'll be very interesting to see how that develops throughout a race, as we probably should have crashed right there. This is really wonky and good land at, but okay. And single out. Grab that inside. If you can't even really call that grabbing. It wasn't really grabbing it so much as... No, I'm just not really grabbing anything here. This is just awful. That That's the fast line right there. Professional line right there for me. Take note. I hope you're all taking notes because this is how you've got to win the MXGPs and go over there and beat Villapoto. And that's a very, very gooned out stoppy landing right there. I feel like... Oh, that's... That's the fast line you want to take right there, kids. Alright, just kind of try to cut over to the... Here's what we're going to do. Hit that. And transfer over to here in this line. I'm trying to pick out some new lines here because I screwed up the first ones. So I'm trying to get creative with the rhythms to try and get some sort of rhythm going, which is actually nice about this track. It's not too difficult to kind of make your own rhythms out of stuff and pick and choose where you want to go to make up for a screwed up jump. There. Step on. Launch that. Triple over. This is a really weird inside jump. I don't know how much faster it's at, if that's actually faster or not, because you just have to hook back around. It just feels wrong to be doing that. But uh, it's, it's a very interesting line to try and grab as we case that and case that. 
And over this nice little, I don't know if you want to call that a wall necessarily, but it's thing. And could we grab that? I guess some strategy would be like if you try and dig yourself out of rut there, like lap times could be getting faster as this track goes on because if you dig yourself a nice rut right there, you can build yourself up your own berms. Just build your own berm by turning in the same spot every time there, and lap times could be getting faster as the track goes on because you wouldn't be washing out there as much. Launch that to the outside because why not? Gotta go for the big line, triple it. Case the triple and try and scrub out there. Fail at grabbing any sort of a rut. So just try and. I don't know even how you're supposed to make that inside line. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make that happen. And we're just gonna case that. The bike's gonna do some 360 YY ladder stalls, MLG. Need those air horns going off right now if I can remember to put those in. And then just wheel into that little single right there so you don't go launched off as far. Ouch, that was. That's a bruised tailbone right there, is what that is. And land on a whoops, downside of that. Uh, let's go for the big line here. Tire tap that, step up. Oh, that's a creative line. I just just found my own way through there. You gotta go, if you go halfway between them, you can find some pretty interesting lines right there. Try and grab the inside, step up. And where are we going from here? Big triple, and then I guess triple over again? Maybe? Yeah, there we go, triple out. That's pretty nice. Hook around, get on the outside, you can get more speed, because it doesn't seem like the inside line's all that much steeper, and it's just, it feels like the outside's gonna be the fast way to go if you can triple double. And I think there's a double out here, yeah. And nice little double right here to hit. Ooh, blowing that tire. Ooh, that was, that was not pretty. I'll probably throw down one more lap here so I can get a faster lap than 137.57, which I feel like is gonna be a bit of a pathetic lap to everybody that's actually fast in this game. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's not a good lap. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's go. I want to finish out one more lap because I'm having fun right now. I like this track as we case that. Nice. Whip it out a little bit. And we're going to make the triple. Yes, cleared it. Nice. And brakes into that rut. Out of that rut, actually, a lot. I meant to do that, definitely. Got all the way back across, go to that side so the jump's a bit steeper. Launch that deep. Hook a 180, keep leaning back so we can get some more speed built up. I don't know why I threw a whip right there, but uh, scrub that if I can. Thank you. Cut that as close to the inside as I can. I think the right side of these whoops is the faster line to have this little double right there. I think that's faster, but I'll, you gotta try to somehow get over the outside, I think, because I don't know if there's actually any way to. Okay, never mind. This is not the jump I'm thinking of. But that's the one I got my creative line in last time. <laughs> nice big triple. On the gas, this is my. There's one of these where the inside I just can't see how you can make it, but throw a 360 backflip type thing over that, and not gonna quite get the triple. That's unfortunate. Don't know how I didn't get wrecked there. I got wreck avoided, then get wrecked. That's interesting. And grab that triangle for the triple, stretch it out. Sort of made that triple happen. Sort of. Does that, does that count as a triple? Let me know. And scrub that down. 135.22. I'll throw down one. I want to try and get one clean lap in here that's reasonably quick. So I'll, I'll go for one more lap if in case anybody's still hanging around. Actually, I don't even know how many people are actually sticking around to the end of these videos. If you do, let me know. Then I'll, I don't know. If you, stick around, if you stick around to the end of the videos this far in, just, just type in pie into the comments. And then I will know if you watched around here and you're an sexy motherfucker that doesn't ditch in the first minute. Haha! -ha. Yes, um, that's my ingenious level professionalisticness over here, ladies and gentlemen, as we made it night. Okay, I'm just going to stop there. I give up trying to get a clean map. Thanks for watching. If it's not on screen right now, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and all that stuff should be in the description. Thank you all very much for watching. Stay sexy and have a nice day as always.